Welcome to another one of our Bluebeam Me Up How To Tutorials, brought to you by Brighter Graphics Limited, where we show you how to maximize the potential of your investment in Bluebeam Review. Brighter Graphics are the oldest established Bluebeam partner and your premium Bluebeam solutions provider. Let's get started. In this video, we are going to show you how to calculate costs with custom columns in the markups list. In review, users can create custom columns in the markups list to calculate material costs for quantity takeoffs. Let's go over how to create a choice column that stores materials and their base costs, as well as a formula column that automates your calculations. Remember that choice custom columns can store numerical values but are also helpful for standardizing and categorizing your markups. First, let's create a custom column for our materials. To do so, go to the markups list. Click on the markups list drop down menu. From there, go to columns, then manage columns. In the manage columns dialog, select the custom columns tab. Now click on add, to begin creating a custom column. In the add column dialog, enter a name for the new custom column. We will use material for this example. From the type drop down, select choice. To add a new choice, select Add. In the Manage Choice Item dialog, enter the name of the material in the item field. This name will appear in the list of options on the markups list. To further categorize choice options, enter a subject. For example, Flooring. Note, you'll only be able to select the choice item if measurements and markups on the PDF have a matching subject in the Properties panel. Select Assign Numeric Value, and enter the unit or base cost of the material in the numerical field. Select OK. You can add more material manually by selecting the new choice column in Manage Columns and repeating the earlier steps. After adding all the necessary material and their base costs, you can set up a formula column to calculate total costs for a takeoff. Before you can set up a formula to calculate total costs, you'll need to input the base or unit cost for each material. To do so, open the markups list. From the markups list drop-down menu go to columns, then manage columns. In the manage columns dialog, select the custom column tab, and select add. In the add column dialog, enter a name. For example, total cost. From the type drop-down, select formula. In the expression field, enter the first variable in the equation. For this example, we will enter measurement, and a drop-down list will appear. Double-click the measurement variable. Enter a valid operator. For this example, we will enter asterisk for multiplication. The other operators are as follows. Addition, plus, subtraction, minus, division, forward slash, exponential, caret, modulus, percent, negation, minus, numerical value. Enter the second part of your formula in the expression field. For this example, we will enter material. Double-click the material variable. For formulas calculating cost, update the format to currency, and choose the appropriate currency symbol. Click OK in the Manage Columns dialog. Now, whenever a material is selected for a markup, its total cost will be calculated in the new formula column. Thank you for watching. We hope you found the video useful. You can visit our website, www.brightergraphics.com, for more videos in the How To series and all things Bluebeam Review. We at Brighter Graphics, welcome your feedback to help us to improve. 